here we are. It's the first of the big prize races here at Haydock. We've got the Fixed Brush Handicap Hurdle, a Grade 3 handicap over three miles. And we've got Bragorn for Graham Clutterbuck, Philosophical Ryan Tamasebi, Equator Paul Rhodes, Stroll Wigmore is your current market leader for James Shea, Sir Gerard David Hooley, Pedro Aguirre Cheddar for Darren Thompson, Bell Kennan Alex Cherry, Billy Vodden Tapper, Thomas Rogers, Tam Manako Gift, Darren Thompson, Ring of Esteem for Thomas Rogers, Ernest Stravinsky, Paul Rhodes, Mighty Black for Graham Clutterbuck, and French Vacation coming here off a featherweight for Leon Van Rensburg. Watch out for that one. It came second off a very, very small weight. Uh, you know, this one's a... Uh, um, 150 plus rated chaser for the champion trainer but it's come here trying to pick up a really nice prize at Haydock over the hurdles for the champion trainer so Ernest Stravinsky has got the leader and uh, Quaid are the two Paul Rhodes runners just ahead of French Vacation and Sir Gerard as they come to the first flight of hurdles all over that one safely so a Quaid are in uh, Ernest Stravinsky the two leaders for the Paul Road stable, Sir Gerard in the purple silks, David Hooley is just being passed now or joined on either side by Mighty Black and Bragorn from the Graham Clutterbuck stable, although Bragorn has just been restrained and uh, dropped back towards the rear of the pack. The jockey wants that one to race uh, way off the pace rather than being up uh, with the pace too early on. So French Vacation put in a really nice jump there and just caught a couple of lengths out of the, uh, the horses in front of that one, but Again, just wants to be ridden uh, more towards the middle of the pack, but there's not a great deal of pace in this race. They've got a long way to travel here with the rain coming down, the ground getting softer and softer as each race passes. And uh, a couple of these horses just, you know, this is going to turn into a tactical affair. They're not going a great gallop, and a few of them putting a bit of a slow jump there over that hurdle, particularly philosophical. And maybe just put off Stroll Wigmore in slight, slightly, who's just racing in the all green silks for James Shea on the inside of Philosophical. And comes here the favourite, another one that's running off a pretty decent mark here after a win last time out. But a quaid there for Paul Rhodes has opened up a good 7-8 to eight length lead at least over Mighty Black. Pedro Aguirre chair to the grey horse for Darren Thompson in the all dark red maroon silks with the white sleeves. Just passed on the outside by Bell Kennan who put in a really good jump there. French Vacation has dropped back towards the rear of the field and was just niggled along for a few strides there. Didn't get particularly uh, quickly over that. The last flight of hurdles at the rear of the field and the back marker at the moment we've got Billy Vodden Tapper in the all green silks and the white cross and Tamanaco Gift is racing widest of all towards the rear of the field as well so Equator has got them pretty well strung out here as we've got around 14 and a half furlongs left to go and half the flights of hurdles still left to navigate here in the fixed brush handicap all over that one safely but there's a good 25 to 30 lengths uh, distance between the front runner and the back marker that's Equator at the front Billy Vodden Tapper at the rear of the field French Vacation now has been dropped right out towards the rear of the field for the champion trainer and is racing alongside Billy Vodden Tapper and again has just been ridden along for a few strides coming on and off the bridle that one so some concerning signs for one of the market leaders French Vacation 11 to 2 in the betting just before the off so they pass what will be the winning post in a circuit's time and start a race away from the stands here the rain continues to come down here at Haydock and it's Equator that has the rail and the lead of a good few lengths over Bell Ken and Pedro Aguirre chair and Mighty Blacks had the rail the whole time Stroll Wigmore and Philosophical are being forced to race out wide as there's a tight pack of Ernst Stravinsky Mighty Black and Sir Gerard in the middle of the pack and the jockey just um, getting to work a little bit on the favourite there Stroll Wigmore but it's back on the bridle and it's forced Philosophical to, to move wide as they were coming around that bend and that one's now dropped towards the rear of the field as well and is still racing alongside Billy Vodden Tapper, French Vacation Ring of Esteem at the rear of the field. There's definitely a shorter gap between the front runner equator and the rear of the field now. So those back markers have really started to move forward and close the gap a little bit. And it's a really bunched field as we come towards the mile marker. And you could say that anything is still in with a chance of winning this fixed brush handicap. French Vacation has made some really eye-catching progress from the rear of the field for Leon Van Rensburg and is travelling really strongly in behind Pedro Aguirre Cherda, uh, Ernst Stravinsky and Tamanaco Gift. Um, but the, the leader is still going well enough for Quader, but that, le that lead of around 7 to 8 lengths 
uh, about half a mile ago is now down to less than a length as Tamanaco Gift starts to move up menacingly on the outside. Bell Kennan on the inside as they come over the next flight of hurdles. It's Equator now challenged and passed by Tamanaco Gift. French Vacation is still travelling there really strongly off this featherweight for the champion trainer as they start to swing left-handed and come for home. It's Tamanaco Gift on the inside of French Vacation. Equator still travelling well but is back in third. Sir Gerard, Ernst Stravinsky, Stroll Wigmore. Uh Bally Billy Vodden Tappers now trying to make some progress from the rear of the field as well as they come over that next flight. Four furlongs left to go. Tamanaco Gift from French Vacation still sat motionless. A jockey now getting to work a little bit to challenge this leader. So it's Tamanaco Gift, French Vacation, Billy Vodden Tapper. Uh, Pe Sir Gerard now getting to work and making some good progress as well as is Pedro Aguirre Cheda. But we're inside the final three furlongs and it's still a battle up front between Tamanaco Gift and French Vacation. Billy Vodden Tapper, Sir Gerard. Uh, Ernst Stravinsky all trying to get involved as they come to the last flight of hurdles French Vacation gets over that one really well and off this bottom weight has got the advantage over Tamanaco Gift as they come to the final furlong and a half it's French Vacation that has the lead from Tamanaco Gift Ernst Stravinsky, Sir Gerard they're all plugging away back in the chase and pack but nothing's going to be able to get to these two leaders so it is a one-to-one -to -one tussle between French Vacation and Tamanaco Gift French Vacation fighting off the challenge from Tamanaco Gift who's tried to battle on up the rail but can't make any inroads and French Vacation wins it for Leon Van Rensburg makes the most of that really low weight here at Haydock wins a really good prize for the champion trainer and that'll allow him to get some good prize money on the board French Vacation wins it from Tamanaco Gift Ernst Stravinsky back in third Sir Gerard fourth for David Hooley and fifth Pedro Aguirre Cheda the favourite Stroll Wigmore never involved for James Shea